Hi friends, it's Veronica Wax, naturopathic physician, happily retired. Today we are going to talk about bile reflux, gastritis, and acid reflux due to bile reflux. We will talk also about the consequences of bile reflux. So let's go. People usually present it with symptoms similar to acid reflux. They will have heartburn, upper abdominal pain, dry cough, hoarseness. They also will have symptoms that are specific for bile reflux, such as sour taste in the mouth, nausea. If they will vomit, it will be kind of greenish color because bile is almost neon green. Symptoms will get worse when people eat fatty food, such as pork, fatty beef, almond butter, also macadamia nuts are very fatty. Some people will complain about that. You are looking at the picture during the endoscopy. This is the stomach and there is the small intestine. This green part is the bile. A brief lesson in anatomy, esophagus, stomach, small intestine. This is liver and this is the gallbladder and we'll go, uh, bile will come out of the gallbladder into the small intestine. Now, let's go and talk about consequences of bile reflux. Let's go to the blackboard. I already pre-draw my favorite picture of the digestive tract. Mouse with the teeth, esophagus, low esophageal sphincter right here, stomach is here, pilarus is here, this is the small intestine, this is the large intestine, and we go to the bathroom right here. Liver is located here, and it will produce bile that will drain into small intestine. Here is a pancreas, P stays for pancreas, will produce pancreatic enzymes. They also will drain into the small intestine. In general, when we eat, food moves from the top to the bottom. Forget this word, in general. It's a rule of physiology. You cannot violate that. When we eat, food supposed to move from the top to the bottom, so from the mouth, through the esophagus, into the stomach, into the small intestine, to the large intestine, and out. If either food or digestive juices move in opposite direction, then it is a problem. So the problem number one, bile um, uh, in the stomach. because bile has bile salts. They will come into the stomach and irritate the stomach and that will create gastritis. Gastritis. Gastritis may spread through the stomach and will go into esophagus and that will be acid reflux. Also, in, in many other... Uh, my uh, videos, I talked about that concept. So here is the concept. Um, stomach will create, uh, will produce a hydrochloric acid and it will create a specific environment in the stomach with pH of two due to hydrochloric acid. In small in intestine, the environment or pH is totally different because bile will produce juices, pancreatic juices, and they have a totally different pH. So pH in the small intestine is seven, which is neutral. When the bile that has a pH of seven neutral will move here into the stomach, it will change. So the problem number three, changing of pH in the stomach because it's seven here, and it's two here, and it's may go from two, let's say, to three. That's the problem. At pH two, proteins get digested. You don't have any more two, so proteins are not digested. Also, if accidentally, with the food, we swallow bacteria or viruses, they're supposed to be killed by acidic environment, by hydrochloric acid. But if the pH two is not there, it's more neutral, then the bacteria will survive 
survive this environment and will go from the stomach into the small intestine, into the large intestine, and will thrive there. And it will create this biosis. So you can see how one problem of bile reflux will create consequences. So that's why I'm so adamant. I want to convince you, you have to fix the problem. I mentioned that bile has bile salts. That's not only the item that, it's, that is there. Bile will have cholesterol, vitamins, uh, steroids, digestive enzymes. It also will have heavy metals if person is exposed to heavy metals. That's not supposed to go back into the stomach. Bile also, <clears throat> also will have partially broken drugs if person is taking medication. Liver is doing detox. It takes the drug in, it breaks it down, excretes it with the bile, and it's supposed to go out. But in uh, bile reflux, it goes up right into the stomach, will get absorbed into the body again, and will have an effect on the person. It also may have xenobiotics, for example, um, uh, herbicides, pesticides, when they end up in our body, liver does detox, again, breaks down the uh, chemicals, excrete them, and they're supposed to get out of our system, but they go back into the stomach. So in the next video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about possibilities, what you can do. You can choose one or, or the other route. You can either decide, I will take the medication and will deal with bile reflux, or you can actually make changes. You will change your life habits, you will change your eating habits, and you may consider taking several supplements. So it's basically your choice what you are going to do. But, um, you know, uh, for now, I'm done with the lecture. So if you have any questions, ask me right there. Like, subscribe. If you need health coach, just let me know. Bye-bye for now, guys.